good morning first grade our last spelling kit test today week 34 focus skill er ir and ur and all three of those make the er sound now remember we've talked about this week that there isn't any rule or rhyme or reason for using ER versus IR versus UR. I did mention that ER is the most common spelling, IR is the second most common spelling, and then UR is the third most common spelling. But when we're taking our spelling test today, I will tell you which pattern it is. Um, and I'll let you know when we're switching to the next pattern, okay? So if you want to grab your spelling test paper, put your first and last name at the top, and here we go, it's our last one. So we are going to start with the most common spelling of er, which is E-R, and we're going to start with the word her. Her, number one, her. That is her book bag. Okay, number two. Number two, still following our same pattern. Number two is verb. Verb. V -er -b. We learned that a verb is an action, an action word. Number two again is verb. Number three, perk, perk, same pattern, perk. The puppy started to perk up when it was feeling better, perk. Okay, number four, herd, same pattern, herd. We saw the herd of sheep roaming along, herd, herd, herd. All right, and number five, fern, same pattern, fern. I need to water the fern. That's one oh six. Okay, and now for number six, we are going to be switching patterns. So the first five were ER, most common. Now starting at six, we're going to go with the second most common, IR. So number six is stir, stir. I need to stir the chocolate milk, stir, stir. One through six, just quickly, remember one through five is the first spelling pattern. Number one is her, two is verb, three is perk, four is herd, five is fern, six is stir. And that started, number six was starting our second pattern, second most common spelling. Number seven, firm, firm. That pillow is a little firm. Okay, number eight, same pattern, second most, IR, shirt, shirt. I have to iron my shirt, shirt, shirt. Number nine, Dirt, dirt. We have to put some more dirt in the flower pot. Dirt, dirt. Okay, and number 10, first, first. You are in first grade, but not for much longer. First, first, number 10. All right, moving on to 11. Uh, 11 and 12 will be the least common 
spelling of the er sound. So we are on to you are. Number 11 is fur. Fur. The dog has a lot of fur. And number 12, turn, turn. Can you turn around so I can say hi? Turn. Okay, number seven through 12 quickly. Uh, seven is firm, eight is shirt, nine is dirt, 10 is first, and then 11 and 12 going to the UR is fur and turn. All right, let's go ahead over to our high frequency words. Number one, always, always. Do you always practice for your spelling test? Always, number one. Okay, number two was, was, where was your missing book? Was. Number three, done, done. I think the cookies are done baking, done. And number four, once, once, once upon a time, there was a girl named Cinderella, once. Okay, the high frequency words in order again, number one, always, number two, was, number three, done, and number four, once. All right. Uh, Heading on over to the sentence. So I will say it twice, repeat it with me once, and then I'll split it up like we normally do. All right, the sentence is, there was dirt on her shirt. Oh, and feel free to look up at your spelling list that you already filled in to help you with some of those words. This sentence has the different spelling patterns on it. So make sure you can um, take a peek at your spelling list to help you. There was dirt on her shirt. Say it with me. There was dirt on her shirt. to pause. Okay, I'm going to break it apart. The first part, there was dirt on her shirt. In the sentence, last sentence, one more time, there was dirt on her shirt. All right, great job. Go ahead and give yourselves a big pat on the back when you finish. Send a quick picture. Do a little cheer. Yay! Ah, spelling test of first grade. Bye, guys.